Let's go back to analyzing Wednesday's general elections in Pakistan. We've re-established the line to Islamabad. Talat Masood is speaking to us, a former general in the Pakistani army, also a defense and political analyst. Thanks very much for bearing with us while we sorted out the technical problems. Um, let me give you a view of Pakistan from the outside world not that long ago. A country full of corruption, both in politics and civil society. A country where the army has so much power that it kind of stymies true democracy. A country where most people live in the countryside where feudal landlords tell people who to vote for. Has that changed? Is Pakistan now a legitimate functioning democracy, do you think? Well, I think it has only partly changed. I would not say that it has uh, fully changed because there is still the influence uh, of the landlords uh, and uh, those people who are moneyed. And, uh, and there is also some sort of uh, influence of the military to a large extent. Military remains a very powerful institution. And uh, of course, uh, the judiciary also has become powerful, but not half as powerful as the military. And uh, there have been, as you know, certain allegations as well that uh, they seem to favor uh, certain parties, how far they are true, uh, th that we will only see when the election results come out. Um, but uh, obviously, Pakistan's democratic system is yet to mature, and it would take quite some time. And uh, what is most important is that the institutions should remain neutral and should uh, really uh, adhere to the Constitution and to the rule of law, uh, which, of course, when institutions start flouting that, then you have serious problems and the country cannot really truly move uh, towards democratic development. And this is exactly what has happened over the years. But of course, the politicians have been equally sort of uh, responsible for uh, the immaturity of Pakistan's political uh, system at the moment. Uh, the reason being that they align themselves with certain uh, non-democratic forces in order to sort of uh, get into power. Uh, and that is exploited by uh, certain institutions uh, for their own interest to retain power. So this cycle is going on. Uh, and we have to see whether the, these elections would make any difference. Uh, although um, the economy and other aspects as well are so uh, such serious challenges for Pakistan that um, we genuinely need a very strong, uh, you know, and a stable civilian government, which is unlikely to happen. Uh, the can I, can I, can predictions I are. Can I just pick up on your uh, point about making a difference? I'd really like to get your take on this. The world knows the Sharif family's politics, the PMLN's politics. The world knows the Bhutto family's politics, the PPP's party's politics. What might change in Pakistan if this third party now, this newer party, if Imran Khan became prime minister? Can you imagine for us what might change in the country? Well, uh, I think um, there will be greater sort of uh, emphasis uh, on making sure that corruption is reduced. There is no doubt about that. Because I, I, I think even if there was any other party also, there is so much of awareness uh, at the moment. And everyone is so uh, alert as far as corruption is concerned. So there is a lot of pressure on politicians. So even if they are corrupt politicians, uh, there, there will be a difference this time. And there will be certainly less corruption. At the same time, uh, I think Imran Khan, although uh, you know uh, he's actually fighting the elections with exactly the same type of people uh, who have migrated from the PMLN and PPP and other parties and hold similar views, uh, what you described earlier, that you know uh, they are uh, not really very forward-looking. But at the same time, uh, I would think that the message that he has given would make a certain uh, amount of difference. But my fear is that because he is so much surrounded by the same type of people who in the past uh, he has been blaming himself uh, for keep uh, dragging Pakistan backwards. Uh, okay. uh, the, the, how will he going to influence them? Sure. Uh, because they are the ones who would say that we have brought you into power and uh, we will determine what sort of policies uh, sh should uh, you have. 
So okay. I, I think there will be a big tussle, uh, and I don't see a radical change taking place. Well, uh, Talib Masood, I'm um, sorry, I'm going to have to cut you off. See, we, we, uh, we, uh, we, as to how we, it will unfold. Okay, we've run out of time. I'm really sorry to interrupt you because it's going to be hugely interesting. Thank you for joining us on TRT World. Really appreciate it.